you know it's recording when the red light's on up here. Mm -hmm. That's when. That's how you know. So if you ever see the red light in the bedroom. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm not. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. You're supposed to be serious. I don't get a chance to hang out in the bathroom with you very much. Uh, these days. Normally, it's we're naked. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm, getting ready, I'm getting ready to go now. You need to be All right. Hey guys, it's Ben. Another week down and weight loss. I'm not sure about. We're gonna weigh in right after my injection. We're gonna do my injection first this week because as you know, my blood sugar has gone from the 90 to 100 range to the 100 to 130 range as of this last week. So my last week's average was 126. Not real happy with that. My doctor wants me between 90 and 100 if possible, uh, but she's practical and she would accept 100 to 115. But 120, 130 is not so good. Anyway. So, but it's been recommended to me that maybe if I did my shot in a different place other than my belly, that maybe it would be more effigy, efficient. What is, what's the word? I have my assistant here today to give me the shot. Let me introduce you to my assistant. <laughs> KH. Hey y'all, how you doing? This is my wife, Karen. Everybody calls her KH. Those are operating initials from our military days. We met in the military. We've been married about 36 years or so. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we've been going steady longer than that though. Anyway, <laughs> so KH, you're gonna be giving me this five milligram shot of Mongero today in the back of, which arm are you choosing? This one. I thought you'd choose this one, it's got your name on it. Oh, okay, let's do that one. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do this in the back of my arm and hopefully this will be better for my blood sugars. Not sure about my weight. We're going to do it right after this. She's got to get going. She's got to go grocery shopping and whatnot. Yeah. So do you know how to use one of these? You, I've been watching your videos. Oh, well, yes. then you know how to. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's test you then. Let me uh, just get the uh, alcohol swab. Maybe you didn't pass that part of it. Oh, do you remove this? Yep. 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 Okay. So. And then we'll do the alcohol swab mm -hmm. and I will put this against your arm. I will unlock it yep. and then I will shoot you. <laughs> yes. I, watch, I watch the ID Discovery channel all the time, but I never expected to hear those words come out of your mouth. <laughs> so, right there. I can't look. Yeah. This is going to hurt, isn't it? I don't think so. Okay, so you know you take the end cap off. Yeah, I did it. Just push that up there firmly. Unlock it. I did already. Push the, yeah, push, hold it. There you go. You heard the second click mm -hmm. and you know it's good. Hold on. Got a little Ooh. blood. There we go. Thank you. Maybe. Now leave me alone. Yes, I will. Mm -hmm. Bye, y'all. Thanks, Ben. You're welcome. So guys, now that you've met my wife, KH, you can probably understand better the reason for the depth of my insanity. Just joking. She's awesome. I love her. She's gone now. So I think we're alone. I think we can talk now. Do you guys remember that old uh, artist, Tiffany? She was a teen throb back in the 80s. Tiffany. I recently was cruising through YouTube. This is way off subject. I'm sorry. It just popped into my head and I got to get it out. You guys... Uh, with my situation, my problem, no, you got to get it out. So anyway, there was this teen throb Tiffany back in the 80s. Uh, and I was going through YouTube a couple of months ago and I came across Tiffany again, only she's like my age. And uh, she redid that song, I Think We're Alone Now. And let me tell you something. I didn't like the song when I was a teenager, uh, but I certainly like her remake of it. Boy, it's very soulful. If you haven't heard it, you should go check it out. Maybe I'll put a link in the description of this video. I think we're alone now. Beating of our hearts. Beating of our hearts. Yeah. Anyway, let's get right into the weight. I'm sorry. I'm wasting your time. Let's get into the weight. So my glucose average this week, you guys, was a disappointing 126. 
You'll remember last week it was 117 and it's been creeping up. Uh, I was well controlled for probably 21, 22 weeks between 90 and 100 on my glucose average reading every day. And lately it's just been increasing, right? So I thought maybe I needed to go up in a dose. Uh, well, we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's take the weight, see where we're at now. Last week's weight, let me look. 158.8. All right. Is there any betting people out there? Uh, I think I might have stayed about the same. If I gained half a pound or lost half a pound, I am not going to be disappointed at all. In fact, I could lose a little bit more than that. I'd like to be down to 155. You guys already know have, that I've been watching. My goal weight is 150 to 160. I'm down from 250, not entirely on Monjero from 250 to my current weight, which was last week, 158.8. This week, let's find out right now where we're at. All right, you guys, last week's weight was 158.8. This week's weight, oh, whoa. All right. Uh, Below 154. Okay. Is that 154? We need to go. This week's weight's 153.8. I'm below 154 pounds. I've never, well, that's not true. I've been below 154 pounds, but I haven't been below 154 pounds as long as I remember. And this goes back to middle school even. I have not been below 154 pounds since then. And uh, I honestly, <laughs> I'm speechless. I'm so happy. I thought I put on a, a little bit of weight and I would have been happy if I stayed about the same. This makes me happy too, but now I need to be concerned about losing even more weight. I don't really want to do that. You see my goal weight, 150 to 160, I try to stay right there at 155, right? Now that I've dipped below that, I need to up my eating game a little bit, taking in more calories over time, but not bad calories. Uh, somebody said in the comments about my protein bars, my favorite salty, uh, I see my, I left it in here the last time, last Thursday, I left my salty protein bar in here, my salty peanut protein bar that I love so much. And, uh, it's gone. Uh, I bet if I looked in that trash in the closet, I bet I'd find the wrapper and I bet I know who's guilty of it. <laughs> They're delicious. I don't blame her one little bit. Anyway, somebody said that I should, I could eat those again because they're not really bad for my blood sugar. Uh, I wasn't sure. So I'm going to celebrate and have one of those this afternoon. I think I got a couple left in the closet. Anyway, Diane Odgers, 4,700, uh, said of last week's weight, she said, that's a good weight, Ben, smiley face. And I couldn't agree more. It was a good weight last week. I was just a little over that midpoint. So what I'm gonna be trying to do is balance that right in the middle there at 155. But thanks for the comment, Diane, appreciate it. Uh, I've gotten a lot of comments about me and this stuff right here, this gabapentin. I know a lot of people uh, think that it's really bad for you and I think that it scientifically is bad for you. It's been proven over time. It won't affect people the same way right? Some people are more affected than others, just like everything else, right? There's a balancing act that we have to do with these medications. Uh, we have to see whether they're right for us. And that's why on Monjaro, we start at the 2.5 milligram, right? Just to see if our body can tolerate it. It's for the doctors, really. See if we can, see if we can stand it. And if we can stand the 2.5, if we get used to that, then we can get used to the 5 milligram dose, right? Uh, so the theory goes, and at least in my case, that's been the facts. I tolerated 2.5, not very well. I had some side effects and I had more side effects with five, actually about the same amount of side effects. They were just worse. But then I got used to those side effects on five pretty quick. Uh, I'm still on five. Uh, you saw earlier in the video, uh, my wife injected me with five milligram. I was thinking about going up to 7.5, but, but. We were talking about gabapentin. You see where my mind goes everywhere. <laughs> uh, so I've been on those for my foot issues. Uh, apparently I've got neuropathy in my right foot worse than my left foot. I can barely feel it in my left foot, but my right foot, it's terrible. 
combined with osteoarthritis in my right foot, which is, it like came on overnight. I've never had it before. It's just like overnight my foot started hurting and that's what it is, according to my podiatrist. Uh, but we're gonna talk to him about the gabapentin uh, next time I go in. At the Fractal Story Spinner, very cool name by the way. I was on gabapentin for nerve pain some years ago. I gained weight. You gain weight, people, some people gain weight on gabapentin, not everybody. Let me rephrase that, everybody's different. Uh, as you can see, I've not necessarily gained any weight on it based on my last weigh-in, which was very impressive. Uh, so the gabapentin, I'm gonna have to say, I'm not really gaining weight on it. Uh, the Monjaro is still controlling my weight very well, just not my blood sugars as well. And that could be because of my injection location. Sbart1125 said, do you think the gabapentin has caused your sugar levels to change? And that could be. You're talking about my glucose levels. And that could be. It was very coincidental that I started taking this stuff and the very next day, my glucose levels were elevated and they've been elevating gradually over the course of the last two weeks. And uh, since my dose was upped on this from 300 milligrams three times a day to 600 milligrams three times a day, it's a big dose. Uh, I don't know. My sugar levels have been going up. So I don't know if the increase in that is due to my sugar levels. It's something that we're gonna question the doctor about. This should be well documented by this time. This gabapentin's been around for ages, so they should know everything there is to know about it that I can't find on the internet, so. I like getting my information from my doctor rather than the internet, and that's why I always like to ask my doctor first, even though I can read something on the internet, I like getting it out of her mouth as well. So could the gabapentin be causing my sugar increase? Anybody out there, anybody at all, been put on this gabapentin stuff and your sugars uh, started going up, let me know in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. Or, on the other hand, if you were prescribed gabapentin and you've been taking it and it hasn't affected your sugars at all while you're on this medication, also let us know that stuff because that would be very helpful information for us to know. I can't tell you, you guys, how incredibly valuable your comments have been to me during the course of this vlog and to several others. I was able to talk to somebody last week and uh, they commented on the absolute gold mine that the comments section is in these vlogs and I couldn't agree more. I have learned so much from these comments. Uh, of course, I always verify everything with my doctor as you should as well. Even if you hear, even if I tell you that I verified it with my doctor, you need to verify it with your doctor. Right? Just get in that habit. There's a lot of misinformation going around and you don't want any of that. Just get it out of the horse's mouth. That's what I say. Uh, anyway, why am I still on the five milligram dose? You may be asking yourself, Ben, you were on it last week. Your blood sugars were up. You were talking about going up to 7.5 milligrams. You said you were going to call your doctor. Why didn't you? Uh, well, <laughs> because I saw that comment from Anna GQS mom. Is that how you say it, or is it Anna GQS's mom? I'm not sure, it's one of those two. Uh, but she said, try changing your injection location. Uh, do the back of your arm. My side effects and glucose control go up when I switch location. So you saw, I injected in the back of my arm this time and we're going to see whether that changes. So you know that the trend of my blood sugar has been increasing over the course of the last three weeks. This will be the telling week. This is the only thing I'm changing, the injection location. I'm not gonna change anything that I haven't been eating and suddenly eat it, besides that salty peanut protein bar. I'm gonna eat that right after this. But besides that, I'm not changing anything. I'm gonna keep my diet the same that it is, just to see, right? You don't wanna change too many variables in an experiment, otherwise you won't know whether that change in that one variable was it or whether changing that other variable. So I'm gonna change one variable, Anna QS's, GQS's, or GQS's mom. Uh, I'm gonna change one thing, and that was the injection in the back of my arm at your suggestion. So we'll see if it works, tune in next Thursday. I'm not gonna be mad if it doesn't work, we'll just talk to the doc about going up to the next dose, which is 7.5.
Anyway, uh, I also got a ton of comments about my question of can we combine two shots to make, you know, one usable dose. For instance, can I, can I inject a 2.5 over here and a 5 over here and that would be 7.5, right? And if you didn't understand that, can I inject a 5 here and a 5 here and get a 10? You get what I'm getting at. Uh, the answer from the comments section has been resoundingly yes. I haven't got any comments that said, no, you should never do that. Don't ever do that. All I hear is a bunch of yeses, and I hear a bunch of yeses from people that say they have done it themselves. So I got a couple more things that I want to talk to you guys about today. But before I get to those other things, I wanted to, again, thank you guys for commenting and participating in my stupid questions, right? These questions that everybody knows the answer to, it seems like, except for me. Uh, that's been the story of my life. Unless you guys are faking it, you really don't know, and you say you do. I don't know. Anyway, you guys in the comments, you guys in the comments have been incredible and I wanted to just say thanks and I hope it continues because you're not only helping me out answering these stupid questions, you're helping a lot of other people out that have the same stupid questions that me. I know they're out there. I can't be the only one. So I just wanted to say thanks a billion. Okay, at a child of a sore. Hi, Ben. Love watching your video updates every week. Thank you so much. Appreciate you tuning in. I have a question that I have never seen anyone ask before. Have you ever experienced any differences in your taste buds with certain foods? For me, I can't uh, stand the taste of meat anymore. Oh my God, dude. I am so sorry. Uh, if I couldn't stand the taste of meat, I don't know. Meat's my, one of my favorite things in the world, so... I'll, I'm sorry that they are experiencing that, but to answer your question, yes, I have experienced what you're experiencing. Thank God not with meat, not something as good as meat. Uh, I lost my taste entirely for diet sodas, specifically uh, Diet Coke. I used to go through about a 24 pack of Diet Coke in about three or four days. Uh, the day I started uh, Monjaro, 2.5 milligrams, uh, was the day that I quit drinking Diet Coke. I probably had three or four just out of habit, and then I realized, yeah, this doesn't taste very good at all. I think I'm just gonna quit drinking these things entirely. And I'm not the only one that ex has experienced that. So yes, that phenomena is out there. Uh, changes to the taste buds do occur. There are certain foods that I used to love that I cannot stand anymore, like anything greasy, right? I used to love greasy barbecue. I cannot look at it. If I see a barbecue uh, commercial on the TV, I have to change it, otherwise I get nauseous. I'm not lying about that. It just makes me physically ill to see the grease, right? And they, these days, they focus right in a close-up right on it. So gross, at least to me. And I used to love that greasy barbecue, but I can't stand it anymore. Uh, thank God I still love steaks and the whatnots, but uh, I apologize for your lack of uh, meat anymore. Hopefully, uh, that changes. At Crossing Jojo, 6031 says, Hi Ben, I think as a nurse, when I hear your weight loss is managed and otherwise things look good, uh, but the blood sugar is up, it might be good to look at what you're eating. I think you're right. I think it partially you're right on that, maybe entirely. Uh, this is a comment though that I had just read right before coming in here to do this, uh, and I wish I would have read it yesterday because if I would have read it yesterday, which would have been impossible because she just uploaded it six hours ago. But if I would have read it yesterday, this probably most of this video would have been about just this thing. I've been wanting to do a what I eat in a day video, but I bear with me. I know I haven't done it yet, but I'm also afraid that I want to make sure that I'm doing it right. I don't want to show people what I eat and then have them emulate what I eat and that not be healthy. So I'm waiting. I know, I'm sorry, but I just want to make sure. So I've asked for a referral to a nutritionist. Even if I don't get it, and uh, my military <laughs> insurance sometimes doesn't pay for these kind of things. So if they don't pay at least partially to see a nutritionist, I'm just going to go ahead and pay for it myself because I think it's that important. Uh, this is something, this is a life-changing time for me, you guys. These last 20 some weeks have been 
transformative, not only in my weight and in my attitude and, and in my learning about food and drinks and medicines and interactions and just all kinds of stuff. It's been a really big learning uh, curve for me. Uh, it's just been overwhelming, to be honest with you. And there's just so much, <laughs> there's so much. I want to make sure that before I push anything uh, of what I'm doing on my channel, even if it remotely looks like I, it's what I, it's what I'm recommending, right? I want to make sure it's right. So if I do a what I eat in a day, that's going to be what I'm recommending that you also eat in a day, somewhat. Uh, and I want to make sure that it's correct. So I'm going to talk to a nutritionist, long story short. Sorry that I made it so long and painful for you guys. <laughs> You know what I mean? Oh, God. So guys, I hope you tune in next Thursday to see if the injection location makes any difference. It's really the only change I'm making this week. I'm gonna go eat that salty peanut uh, protein bar right now. Talk to you next week.